Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. I'm in the sunshine in a very, very special place. I'm sitting here with my mum and dad. I've just had lunch with um, my husband who won't retire. He's here with me. Coming to Auckland is so special. I know people say, oh, Dorkland and all that sort of rubbish. I'm going to go back to Catherine. And for me, it's coming home. It's seeing my brothers. It's, you know, coming and, and sitting with mum and dad and having a chat to them and telling them what's going on and who's doing who and what's doing what and all that kind of stuff. But it's connecting with where I'm from, you know, and that's important to me. Um, sometimes I do things that I regret. Uh, you know, I say silly things and um, but it's who I am. It's what I do. You know, I can't help it. It's Catherine. <laughs> um, but today, we we had a wonderful time at the 21st for Connor last night. Um, and my brother Edward, he made a a speech, you know, and he was telling all these young 21-year-old boys that when they um, get their girlfriends or their wives pregnant, um, the most amazing thing is being there when their child is born. And he said that the one thing he learnt from it, well, not the one thing, but one of the most important things he learnt was respecting his mother. And we were a family of seven children and we never disrespected our mother or our father or our grandparents, you know, you didn't do that sort of stuff. And um, so don't think that Edward didn't respect her, because he did. Um, he was the favourite, I think. Until Bruce came along, then he was the favourite. And I was always the favourite, because I was the only girl, and, you know, I was going to have to look after them in their old age. They had to love me. But, no, not really. <laughs> uh, we were all equals. But yeah, this comment that Edward made, you know, to these young boys last night, and the young girls, I suppose, was, you know, honour your parents, respect them, because they really have given you something quite amazing in, in life. And, you know, as we're all getting older, we've already, uh, we've already lost one of our family, um, and Neil. And, you know, there's still six of us left, and we try and get together as often as we can and when we do it's pure joy and um, we all have the same terrible sense of humour that I've got so yeah and the only thing I haven't got is some of the beards that the boys have got but uh, yeah as we get older and you know my son now is 31 um, and I think you know I was married I had had Edward when I was 27 um, so yeah, well set up and everything, but that means I'm now 58, and I, you know, find that life is harder, and, and as we start sort of, not so much heading towards death, but getting closer and, and losing people that are important to us, that you start to think about life a little bit more, and um, yeah, this coming coming back to Auckland and coming and seeing mum and dad and the boys and and the young ones that are all growing up and doing their own thing as well. So it's all really important. But yeah, so coming up to Christmas, always think of our parents at Christmas time because we had such wonderful Christmases. Um, poor as anything, but hey, that didn't even matter. There was always presents, there was always food, and there was always love. It wasn't... Um, expressed so profoundly as, as what I, you know, I tell Edward now I love him all the time because I do with all my heart and my brothers, I love them and, you know, miss the ones that aren't here as we all do but, yeah, so coming up to Christmas, went to the shop and got to, um, some poinsettias for mum and dad so putting them on their grave today where they both are and, um just spending time heading to the airport very soon and getting on the plane and going back to Christchurch and our life down there, which is great. And I have some good people in my life down there as well. Yeah, <laughs> bit serious today, sorry. But yeah, cherish what you have and the people in your life 
even my husband who won't retire, who's feeling rather seedy today. Thank you, Brother Andrew. He blames it all on you.